good morning students welcome back so in today's class we will study about the concept hr metrics so what is matrix matrix means measurements so by now we have understood that hr analytics is all about measurement of human resource processes the efficiency and effectiveness of these processes and how it results in the business outcome so in today's class we will understand what are the different types of metrics and why metrics is so important in business so human resource metrics are measurements which are used to determine the value and effectiveness of hr processes in organization especially the areas like employee turnover training return on human capital cost of labor and expenses per employee so as you can see in the picture Uh, on the screen these are all the examples of different metrics which are used in the organization so these metrics become important because they allow organization to make connection between the value that hr processes are providing and the outcome of the business so you will be able to correlate if you have the data and if we do not measure the effectiveness of the process then we cannot provide proper insight or proper data driven now input for the decision makers so hr metrics become important in the organization so with help of metrics it becomes easier to quantify data and make decisions so earlier what used to happen when there were no analytical tools or techniques used in hr many of the hr activities or process they were um, very difficult to quantify so it was really hard to understand how much cost was being put into each of these processes and how much cost was incurred for each employee so the cost and uh, benefit relation was very difficult to analyze earlier but with the help of metrics it has become easier now and with the help of metrics executives tend to make better decisions because they have data driven inputs and they are not made by intuition it is by the facts which are collected from past and current organization data use of metrics also helps you save lot of time and money see many important decisions are made by executives which will affect the bottom line of the business so in order to make these decisions uh, and in order to convince the leader that whatever decisions they are making based on this data it is not going to risk the business or rather than losing out money or wasting resources in future you can use these metrics and save all that time and money which you are investing and make better decisions or choose the better alternative now there are three basic types of hr metrics which are used in every organization so they are hr reports hr dashboard and hr scorecard so each of these have their own prominence and importance while hr reports are used on daily basis to keep track of daily transactions or activities in the organization and these are the least uh, matured uh, of all the three categories so reports they are like formatted and organized a presentation of data which happen on daily basis in the organization so reports are uh, those which provide immediate data and they can be used only for short term decision making they can be daily reports weekly report monthly or quarterly report you can see in on the screen now so this is the report that is generated of uh, on daily basis of absenteeism of employee how many employees have worked for over time overall labor effectiveness and the training cost which are incurred so this is reports are basically that consist of data which happen on daily or weekly basis in the organization so next one is hr dashboards so hr dashboards they provide more advanced way to assess the metrics or key performance indicators in the organization so your dashboards allow to present information in a more interactive and 
user focused way so you can see on the screen so dashboards are basically they are designed to be very dynamic and visual so that people understand the information just by looking at it so they include charts and graphs and they illustrate the trends or insights so it will allow stakeholders to filter the information as per their needs so dashboards help you to manage the business and they are used to monitor and drive the performance improvements you can see on the leftmost side so there there is a option like home and then there are different options company my details then resume employment payment leave training recruitment performance ohs etc so you can choose to see what you want like if you want payment related information you can select that option and the dashboard will um, you know display all the data related to it so right now salary dashboard is open here so salary by the uh, average salary in your organization based on the age or based on the gender then total salary again so performance based on salary or salary based on performance so all these data can be seen here and you can even apply filters and uh, get to know the data which you are looking for and for different stakeholders different kind of data uh, will be important so dashboard will help you to exactly scrutinize the data and see what exactly is needed and the next type of metric is hr scorecards we all know about scorecards so hr scorecard among all these three it is the most mature and innovative method of visualizing the hr metrics or hr measures of all the hr processes so this scorecard it provides a snapshot of overall hr performance against the goals that is set by organization so it will allow your business leaders or executives to monitor and manage the uh, hr processes in order to achieve its objective so hr scorecard they are always strategically focused and uh, since it is strategically focused so you have to keep updating the data periodically so that it will be easier to achieve the organizational goals and like any scorecard here also the three oh, sorry four key performance areas are customer metric process metric talent metric and financial metric we will study in detail about hr scorecard in later class thank you